today it's been a beautiful day. Uh, the kids uh, had their conference here at TUT. Uh, this morning it's, it's about uh, uh, security, that they, they be being protected, you know, they also like, they need protection from, not just on the, from the police, also like everyone in the community and like in the society. Yeah. Uh, today's art workshop was wonderful. It was uh, based on the theme protection. We had some dis discussions with our friends and we you know, draw some pictures of uh, all the people who exercise violence against uh, us. For the guys uh, that I'm coaching, we always like having these sessions like cause we, with the social worker. So, I mean like it's been a great experience for the kids to like to spend a time and do qu answering questions with like getting other ideas, views from different countries, different structure and different countries. So yeah, it's been a beautiful thing. Yeah. It was uh, our big final. We played for the plate. Hey, it was a tough game, you know. Yeah, the kids. Okay, they had a rela good relationship with all the other teams, but with the Philippines, you know, because we we sort of like having that bond with them and the the, the kids when they over there together because we we'll travel with the, the Philippines. So even the time they went to the pitch inside, they were like, Coach, hey, today let's play, please let's pray not to injure or make any or injure other players or play rap other players. Just play simple ball. And then I asked them why. And then some of the boys said, it was they are our friends. I said, come on, you can't, <laughs> don't tell me now you're going to lose because they are friends, you don't want to win. And then they said, no, because now we probably say one, fa one family. And then it was so touching that hearing from the boys, you know, that they do get the message, you know, that the whole, all children from where, I, wherever they are, well, once they come together, they are one family. So it was, yeah, it's been a marvelous game, beautiful game, you know. Both teams played well. I'm proud of my boys too because they, they really did their best. You know? For the team, two teams go to the second half, like extra time. It, it means it's a tough game. The final, you know, <laughs> it, it's also, it was a tough one too, you know, it was everyone, was, even myself, I was tense, you know, like, was, I, to be honest, I didn't favor any team, I, because uh, I was scared to say, okay, I'm, vote, uh, I'm favoring the other, the Indian team or the Tanzanian team, and then they lose and all that stuff, but I just told myself, okay, let me support the whole tournament, whichever team wins. At least all of the kids they will get the message. We all winners, you know. There will there won't, there won't be any losers. Yeah, it's been a very tough. Tanzania, they are tough boys. They've played, they've got skills. And India too. No, we were all shocked because I myself, I thought India they're not into football, but hey, they turn things around, you know. But We all know that they are famous with cricket, you know. So yeah, they, those boys they displayed, you know, showed us that they do also do do have skills, just like other kids. So it was a beautiful game, you know. Yeah. It was a privilege to be involved in this occasion and hopefully we can sustain this project in the future as well. And I'm happy that India won the, the, the cup, you know. Not, um, in fact, for the whole World Cup, the whole tournament, you know, representing different kids in the different countries, you know, street children. It's not about just only India, it's about the whole street children, wherever they are. All of the players are humbled by the whole atmosphere today and 
the lads before the game said they want to win the World Cup, street child World Cup for the, not only the children back in India, but all the street children around the world.